It might be Friday the 13th, but watching this video is really good luck. What's up guys? Welcome to another This Week in Blogging. We're on episode number six. God, we're getting old. Just a quick little announcement. If you missed it, our fearless leader, Srinivas Rao, actually did a five-part series on the YouTube channel talking about relationship marketing. So I strongly suggest you check that out if you have not already. Great information for making new friends in the blogosphere. And now on to super cool newsy stuff. Old news at the time of this viewing, but earlier this week, Facebook acquired Instagram for, say it with me because everybody knows, one billion dollars. <laughs> All them dollar dollar bills can be counted in cash and Facebook shares, and the deal is actually expected to close later this quarter. The 13 Instagram employees will be joining the Facebook offices and helping the network improve their already very popular photo sharing experience. Instagram being a network of 30 million users, this is the first acquisition of its kind for Facebook and probably one of the last. To acquire a network this big is a really, really big deal, hence the dollar amount. This was clearly an important decision for Facebook to make because Instagram is quite the competitor when it comes to photo sharing. The network saw a huge increase in users last week because of it rolling out to the Android market, but then later after the acquisition from Facebook, we saw Instagram go to the number one download in the Apple iPhone app store. First time that's ever happened, so whoa. Should be interesting to see what happens with the network. A lot of people are freaked out that Facebook's gonna own it and completely screw up the experience for Instagram users but Facebook claims no that's not their intention at all. They just want to steal their funky filters. That's all, guys. That's it. That's it. Relax. It's all good. Moving on to the traffic report. Google Plus also redesigned their platform. They're just all kinds of new, all kinds of all the time, aren't they, over there at the Google the Google Plus? Lots of changes with this redesign, including new profile pages, which resemble something. What? What? What does it look like? Oh, that's right. Facebook profile pages. <laughs> Your profile picture has now been moved to the right, which is great because everything else is on the left. And you also have a nice cover photo, which is the same as Facebook's except skinnier. Also on the newsfeed, you'll notice that photos and videos are much bigger. I actually think it was smart of them to make the whole video play more prominent on their network because Facebook is still struggling in that aspect in my opinion. There's also a more prominent Gchat list on the right and there is a navigation ribbon on the left which is completely customizable, drag and drop. You can move all the options around depending on whatever you use most often. And that ribbon also includes a tab specifically for Hangouts so you can pop over there to see what's happening in the video chat world. The reason why I'm bringing up the redesign in the traffic report is because of the explore tab, something that you can actually use to grow your Google Plus network. There's lots of opportunity over there to see what's trending on the network with the use of hashtags and other keywords, join conversations that are happening with a lot of people about important topics, and basically just learn about new people on the network because all I ever seem to hear about Google Plus is nobody's over there, everybody's on Facebook, everybody's on Twitter. There are other people on Google Plus just because your network is small and you haven't tried to branch it out doesn't mean there's nobody there. So next time you want to say that there's crickets chirping over there, why don't you do a little bit of investigating in the explore tab and help attract some traffic to your Google Plus page and get them over to that blog. Today on Bloggers to Watch, I thought we'd make it a little bit prettier up in here. That's right, we're gonna talk about design. From my hometown, Columbus, Ohio, I wanted to bring to your attention a little girl that does some amazing design and awesome representation on her blog, and I'm talking about Allie Lehman. Designers, if you're trying to get your name out about how awesome your skills are, I strongly suggest you take example from blog.allisonlehman.com. Not only is this girl's design and photography absolutely amazing, she does insane work on her blog to properly represent herself and also engage the community in a way you've never seen. From photo sharing contests to city guides to even guest bloggers coming on and sharing their opinions of how you can better your blog, whether it has to do with design or other aspects, there is everything on this girl's blog. And it's so wonderful to see because not only do you want to read it, you want to read it because the design of her blog is so beautiful, flawless, and clean. So even if you're not a designer, I strongly suggest you check it out because she is just so chic. Just, ugh, there are no words. 
go look at you it. You can find Allie's portfolio at alisonlayman.com. The blog is blog.alisonlayman.com. She's on Twitter at AllyPal. That's all for today's Twib, but I wanted to share a comment from my last video because I'd like to do that. I'd like to share your comments. If you have any, please leave them on the video on YouTube. So the comment I want to feature today is from D. Deleiro, and he or she says, I think it's a he, but I'm just totally guessing. I don't know why these five minute videos make me feel like getting work done, but they do. Thanks, Amy and Blogcast FM. Well, you are just so welcome. You are welcome here anytime. So sweet. I hope you're like Dee Delero and feel like you got something out of this video. If you did, please like, favorite, share, do all that fun stuff. We appreciate it so much. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with more of this fun stuff. Don't forget to continue the conversation at Schmatastic and at Blogcast FM. I'll see you on the tweets. Until next week. If you go to their about page, tumblr.com slash about, you can actually watch the ticker rise as it continues to publish more and more blogs.